Hi everybody, I'm Alex and this is the Assist Development Team and today this will be the second tutorial in our Fusion 360 tutorial series. If you have not already properly loaded a robot model and installed the add-in, please check the previous tutorial for details on how to do that. So, now we're here, we're going to be going over our drivetrain setup. Drivetrain setup details any settings that are related to the drivetrain in your robot. In this case, our entire robot is a drivetrain, so these settings are quite important. So, the first button I selected was the drivetrain layout button, which would pop up this window. This tells our simulation and emulation tools how to characterize your drivetrain, and so how to control it, how to simulate the wheels, and how to code it. So, the first option is basic. Now, basic covers your West Coast drive, your drop centers, your swerve, not your swerve, sorry, your mechanisms, and your standard four-wheel drive, as you see here. So pretty much if you have a kind of four-wheeled layout robot, basic covers it. H drive is pretty much only for H drive type robots, so if you had a wheel in the middle facing horizontal, then you would select H drive, and then anything else not described here, click other. For most of your robots though, basic works. So we're gonna go ahead and click okay. Now, if you may have saw there, it saved the setting into the Fusion 360 project file. And that means all of our settings are saved to the cloud along with our Fusion CAD model. This means your teams can not only collaborate on your robot CADs, but also collaborate on your robot synthesis configurations. So in this case, we're gonna save this as drivetrain type set. And when we click OK, it will save this as a revision in our revision history. This makes it very handy for editing your synthesis simulation files on the cloud. So once we're done with the drivetrain type, we have the drivetrain weight option. This will set the weight of the entire drivetrain, including the wheel. So everything you see here, this is going to be the weight of it. In this case, it has already loaded the previous weight of 40 pounds, which I would say looks about right for this. So we can just click OK. You can change this, and you can also change the units uh, to metric. It does the automatic conversions for you, which is really helpful. So in this case, we're 40 pounds or 80 kilograms. You know, we'll set it to a metric system just for this example. So once we click OK, again, it will save it as a revision, and we are ready to go to the next step, which is joint setup. So go ahead and head to the next tutorial series. I'm learning how to configure all your joints metadata. Hope to see you there. See ya.